The following film is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the computerized curriculum designed for home schools, Christian schools, family worship, Sunday schools, and church Bible study groups. For more information, visit the website at www.e6-4.com. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Sanctify to me all of the firstborn, whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of animal. It is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came up out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand Yahweh brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. This day you go out in the month Abib. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and then the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahweh. Unleavened bread shall be eaten throughout the seven days, and no leavened bread shall be seen with you, neither shall yeast be seen with you in all your borders. You shall tell your son in that day, saying, It is because of that which Yahweh did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall be for a sign to you on your hand and for a memorial between your eyes that Yahweh's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand Yahweh has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore to you and to your fathers, and shall give it to you, that you shall set apart to Yahweh all that opens the womb, and every firstborn which you have that comes from an animal, the males shall be Yahweh's. Every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. And you shall redeem all the firstborn of man among your sons. It shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this? That you shall tell him, By strength of hand Yahweh brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. When Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, Yahweh killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of animal. Therefore I sacrifice to Yahweh all that opens the womb, being males, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be for a sign on your hand and for symbols between your eyes, for by strength of hand Yahweh brought us out of Egypt. When Pharaoh had let the people go, God didn't lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people around by the way of the wilderness by the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Egypt. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had made the children of Israel swear, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away from here with you. They took their journey from Succoth and encamped in Etham on the edge of the wilderness. Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might go by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night didn't depart from before the people. The film you have just watched is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the software curriculum that provides education with a strong biblical world view. Be sure to visit the website at www.e6-4.com and sign up for our newsletter to stay informed about new lessons available or special events. One of the many features of E64 is the student directed learning mode where the student is free to choose from dozens of lessons in over 20 categories including math, reading, history, science, and the Bible. Another feature is the father directed learning mode where a father or classroom teacher can create an individualized lesson plan for each student and the software will teach the student one section at a time keeping records of his progress. A third feature is the family worship mode, which is ideal for family worship, school chapel services, family Sunday school classes, or church Bible study groups. Once you set up your lesson plan, this mode offers instruction and catechism, one lesson section at a time. Reminds you to do prayer, Thanksgiving and praise, Bible memorization, and includes a complete music section with songs and hymns for worship. Each song can be played with or without the vocals. Another E64 feature is the competition mode, where you create a lesson plan and the program randomly selects question sets from the lessons 
to create a fun and exciting competition, which can be as small as the competition our family does every day in our daily family worship, to as large as the Southeast Bible competition we conducted with multiple rounds and prizes, including a new laptop computer and tickets to a major theme park. Another feature is Apples of Gold, a computerized parlor game for more advanced students, where two clue givers devise clues to help their teams come up with a phrase from the Bible. To purchase the E64 software, visit the website at www.e6-4.com. To schedule the Homeschool Advantage, to come to your church or homeschool conference, and teach your people how to use computer software to build strong biblical households, contact Captain Brett at 678-570-2195 or email terabenth at inbox.com.